So this is Dan from Vagabond Awake, and as you know, from time to time, I like I meet um, people who are visiting or living in places, and I like them to tell you a little bit about it, so you can hear from other people than just me. Thomas uh, was willing to come on camera here for the Vagabond Awake uh, YouTube channel, and uh, he's a delight to listen to, and so he thought he would tell you a little bit about the experience here. Uh, we're in an island called Camigan. Yeah. And he's loving it, we're loving it, so we thought we'd let him tell you his side of the story. So, what do you think? Right, well, uh, first impressions when you come to the Philippines, you've got no idea. It's a foreign country. I've lived in foreign countries before, Canada, Nigeria, all over. Um, uh, but to, to come to uh, the Far East, it's, uh, it's, you've no idea what to expect, whether it's language, food, travel, all that stuff. Yeah. And then you come here, and uh, the shock of all shocks, they all speak English, which is a surprise to come to a, 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 a Far East country, or Middle East country, any, any country outside of Europe, that, and they all speak English. The, the kids are taught English here in preschool, right through, and when they go to college, they can only speak English in class. And they're very happy, delighted in fact, to talk to you in English. Yeah, I noticed that. They're very friendly, incredibly yeah. friendly, friendly, happy, very obliging, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Uh, if you're traveling, they'll, they'll take you out of the way of the usual route to take you to where to drop you off. There's no set, <laughs> there's no set route for, for buses or for for the, the little motorcycles or whatever. They just, if you want to go there, they'll take you up that street, you up there, up, drop you off there. It, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, the travel was something I was quite concerned about. And introduce about. you to people on that corner. <laughs> That's my cousin's restaurant. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah, and they're all cousins, they're all, there's more people here with cousins than you can shake a stick at. Yeah. And um, yeah, so the, the travel thing was, it was a problem. How you're going to get around, you just stand at the side of the road and somebody comes along and picks you up. <laughs> at night time, it's a little bit difficult because uh, it's a daytime, uh, travel thing yeah, yeah. Uh, but we know a guy that picks up in a motorcycle and can take you wherever you want to go at certain times of night so travel and it's was like on a, the island here what do you typically pay when a, when a one of these uh, four-wheel uh, motorcycle well, thing uh, like almost like well, a tuk -tuk. When, when a girlfriend lives in Katarman to come to the capital at Mambahau on a jeep and it's 45 minutes in one of these big jeeps yeah it's 35 pesos not even a dollar. It's like half dollar, right? What is it? Uh, well, you get 50, 50 pesos to It's like to 60 the dollar. cents for a 45 minute ride? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. 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 And you wonder how they do it, but they jam them in and they stick them on top. Yeah. You know, and if you've got boxes, they don't care. They take all your, you go to the supermarket here, yeah, they yeah. pack it up with cardboard boxes and they, they're happy we, to throw it up. We on put top. our luggage in those and they don't ask for extra money. They uh, just don't come no, up. So, some, so, yeah, you're, you're pretty lucky. You know, in, in some islands, you've, you've got to watch a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, uh, so the travel part was, is no problem. You think you have to buy something here, but no, you don't have to buy anything. You, you can walk, you can get a motorcycle. Yeah. So the travel was one thing. The other thing, of course, is, it was the language. No problem, the language. All the signs are in English. Every, every sign you see is in English. That's true, yeah. You know? yeah. Don't park here, please do not park here. <laughs> uh, slow down, accent area, you know, all this. It's all, everything's in English. Yeah. Just, uh, in, even in Cebu, all these big cities in the countryside, it's all English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, was, a, was a big, huge surprise and a big, a big help. Right, right. Um, what else, what else have we got? We got, in, in the Philippines, they're, they're massively big on family. Massively big on family. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's like in, in, in Malaysia. Malaysia, turn plays over there. Just but like, um, in, uh, my friend, I was talking to him in, in Thailand. He was going home on, on the plane, and he says his wife is from Thailand. They go back and forth to England, but she can't travel to England as much because she's the youngest daughter of the fa youngest sibling. Doesn't matter, boy or girl, and she has to stay at home to look after the mother until the yeah. mother passes away. Then she can go off and do her thing. Right. right. And uh, so that's family's big in, 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 in the Far East. And it's massive here as well. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing that's massive here, which I think is just blo blows me away, the schools, the schools here. I don't know how much experience you've had of watching the school kids go to school. The uniforms and everything. The uniforms, yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, to be perfectly honest, this is a poor country and there's a, a lot of poverty here. But these kids, these parents somehow managed to get their kids off to school, even in preschool, with the little uniforms and, and, and looking fantastic. And the schools themselves are so well looked after. 
they're painted, they're cleaned. You go by there at 7 o'clock in the morning or whatever, and if it had been rain the night before, those leaves are out there cleaning the leaves up. They're in the schoolyard cleaning the leaves up. And one of the, I just, we never took this picture, but if you can imagine it in your mind, we're, 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 in, a, we're in a Jeep back at Kitam, we're coming up to Mambahal to get groceries. And as, we, as the Jeep leaves, it, it goes along slow to pick people up. It's yeah, way, yeah. It doesn't like to travel empty, so it moves along slow, 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 slow. As we're going by the high school, the, 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 the high schools are big, but even there was a couple of schools, I don't think it was a high school, I think it was a, a lower school. There's a, 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 like a, like a trough at the end of the building and it's right next to the highway. And there's all these kids, right, and it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, and they're all cleaning their teeth. They were all cleaning their teeth <laughs> before they went into school. It, what a picture that would have been if I could get, get that. And I said to them, we'll have to go by there early in the morning one day and get that picture. <laughs> if you can imagine that, these kids all clean their teeth before they go to school. Mm. And they all got their uniforms on, and they're all cleaning the yard up, and, uh, uh, and the schools are all painted up, and I love my school and all. It's all over the place. School here, education is number one. They're very, 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 very proud of their education. Very, very proud. Yes. And they want an education. And, um, so there's, so there's that. So, so what, do you ever keep do you keep track of like how much you pay for food? What's your average monthly food bill? Don't order? keep track of it. Don't keep track of it. No, don't keep track of it. But you're saying you like to cook soups. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I live on soup. I like soup. But we, the, 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 the problem coming here is you think, well, what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? Rice. I like I like rice. No problem. But they eat rice three, four times a day here. Yeah. And uh, and I like rice. It's not, it's not, it's not a problem. But we get chicken, we can get potatoes, we get onions, we can go to the supermarket, we can probably get everything we can get in North America. Right, right. Or in England. There's only one or two things you can't get. You've got the biggest cities and the bigger supermarkets will get even more and more and more stuff. And uh, so from a food standpoint, when I first, first came in here, I was, I, was, I was almost petrified what we're going to do for food. <laughs> but as far as food's concerned, getting stuff from back home, I was really worried. I brought a lot of stuff with me for, for, the, for the holiday. Um, as far as... So you brought in your suitcase? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, packets of soup, not our soup because they're nice and light and you can like, live on soup. And uh, when I was in the supermarket, I, I, I came across, I came across these, <laughs> my favourite biscuit from uh, from England. So there are certain things you, you, can, you can get here. You can, all, you can also, you can also get these beef sauce <laughs> and ketchup. You can't, you can't move for, for, for bottles of ketchup, so that's not a problem. And you can get, you can get salad dressings, uh, Thousand Island and, and, and that kind of stuff. But there are very, very few because the salad is not a good big thing here. And the only thing you can get, you can get, you can get just stuff from Britain, the Tesco supermarket stuff, and you can get all kinds of stuff. But you can't, and they, you can get uh, uh, mayo. Uh, but I like um, I like mustard, uh, uh, salad cream, uh, Heinz salad cream. So I brought that with me as well because you can't you can't get that here. Yeah. So so in that respect, you're you're not you're not short of uh, of, of what the things you like. Um, you can't get British crisps or potato chips in this country, but you can get all American Lay's and all that kind of stuff. So that's not a problem. And some of the stuff they have here is it's quite good. You, you can flavours. Yeah. But the flavours of the cheese you get. Cheese this, cheese that, cheese the next. Everyone's cheese, 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 cheese. They, they get hamburgers with cheese, stuff with cheese. Everyone's got covering, everyone's covering cheese. And pork, they really, they really, really like pork. <laughs> pork Everybody and, loves pork. Pork in the, in the Philippines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so that's about it for, for food. I have no problem, so food's not a problem. So if you're coming from a Western country, you, you can cook your own food, you can get your own food, you can go into. They've got Western McDonald's, is it? And these these places here too in the bigger cities, and, and so you, you, you've got no problem for food, especially like a place like Cebu. They've got Burger Kings and they've got all sorts. Right, right. And the malls here, oh, the malls here are absolutely beautiful. What are malls? Mall, a mall, like a shopping mall. Oh, the mall. The yeah, mall, right. the mall. Yeah, I'll translate for Americans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the malls here, yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah. And the food that's in them. Oh, oh yeah, the malls are, yeah, yeah they're all about malls here, aren't they? Yeah, they love to show. Yeah. So there was that. So, um, the other big yeah, thing... Yeah, they have a huge mall here, on this small island. Yeah, which yeah well, it's not been open long, I believe. It was only open uh, uh, a year ago or so. Yeah, and that brand, we see Gizmo or something? Uh, 
get Gasano. Yeah, they've got them all over. They've got all over the yeah, place. They've got them yeah, all over. Everywhere we've been yeah. so far. The other big one is uh, SM. SM yeah. miles. They've got them all over, but whether they'll come to the small island or not. Right, right. This island has a lovely, a lovely little airport. Fabulous little airport, and they and you can get from here to to, to Cebu in, in 25 minutes. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream, and they're also flying in now from Manila. Uh, Skyjet are coming in direct, one direct flight a day here and back every day. Mm. So wow. the tourism here is is, is is massive. It's massive here. But the biggest thing in this island is Lansonis. Lansonis is a is a is a is a fruit. It's only about this size. <gasps> and they grow them on Lansonis trees and every year they harvest these Lansonis and they, they make a lot of money and they say that the Lansonis in this island is the best in the Philippines they have them in other islands and they're a bit bigger but they're sour mm -hmm. but the ones here are absolutely juicy and, and sweet and it's because of the water the climate here and of course the volcanic soil uh -huh. but it's the water the water here is of all the countries I've lived in and travelled in the water here is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But you know yourself, you have a, you have a shower or a bath of soap. You can't get rid of it. You can't get rid of the bubbles. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, um, so soft. What are they? Soft water. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like soft but it's water. natural soft water, not wow. chemically soft water. Wow. It's soft water. So do you drink the water or do you get bottled? No, we got a bottle. I get bottled water. Okay. okay. But, uh, but uh, no, you, can, you can drink it. She, she takes it with a coffee, no problem. And if you boil it, and it's, it's, it's pure, it's lovely, lovely water. Okay. Um, so so that is, that's a nice thing. And here in the island, the air, the air is pretty good. Other islands in the big cities, smog is, you know, there's no there's no health and safety, there's no there's yeah. no pollution control, any of that kind of stuff here. So yeah. and in the big cities, it's, it, can be a, it can be a problem. Yeah. But the air in this island, it, and that's where tourism here is, is massive. Yeah. But Lanzon is, 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 is a fantastic thing. So is that like a, it's a sweet fruit? Yeah. I don't even know fruit. that it, yeah. I have a, I can, I can give you a picture of it. I have a picture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, at the moment, been, even if you eat the Lanzonis trees, there'll be nothing on them. Because they harvest them every October. Okay. October. Okay. okay. And then they have the huge festival here in Mambahal. And it is absolutely something that you should, if you're going to come back, you should come back for that. For the festival. festival. It is absolutely mind boggling Oh. Because. Um, is that towards the end of October or beginning? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit uh, near the end of October. We go we down to Mamba Hall, you might say, yeah. Kim, Kim Egan's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is all year round, they collect stuff like bottle tops of, bottle tops of coat bottles. You don't realise it until you look right up close to the uniforms. Now, these are little kids all the way through. To, to, to college, all the schools have a, have a, have a, have a band or a, a, a performance and they, they make drums out of uh, um, bamboo, um, old water bottles and they, they make stuff up. It's just absolutely from absolute rubbish. They make it from absolute rubbish and they use the red coat tops and the, the white from the, from, the, uh, from the spray bottles uh -huh. and when you look at the uniforms they're just made up of rubbish. The whole uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some got a little bit of sponsorship as the older ones got come along, but it's just, it, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's just rubbish. They just make it out of rubbish, and it's a phenomenal what they can make it out of. Oh. And they're so colourful. But they have a they have a big festival here on the Saturday and Sunday, and all the, the bands come in, and they, they do uh, a, a performance. But it's a kind of performance about it, it's about something. How, how about the Lansonis and there's like it's. Uh, how a baby was stolen and, and all this kind of stuff. It's it, it, it acts out a, 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 a story, oh. and, um, and you need to find out about the story. But these kids are absolutely unbelievable, and I'm talking about from little kids from grade oh. three or four, whatever, when they start right up until high school. Maybe we can find a video online. Of, well, we uh, should go. Oh, we went to Las oh. last year, yeah. and she we videotaped everyone. Oh, nice. On the Saturday and the Sunday. Okay. But on the Saturday, and it rained for the last two bands. And I'm talking rain. I'm talking biblical rain. Right. And what you can do here. Uh, <laughs> and these, these kids were still up on that stage performing. Wow. And we were out there like idiots. <laughs> filming. Filming it. So we got, there was 10 bands. And it's all on our uh, YouTube. Okay, cool. And, uh, and that also on the Saturday it's all the, 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 the bigger kids and on the Sunday it's all the smaller kids and then all 
all the barangays here, which is the counties, they all send a, a, a one, one, one. So every 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 barangay, every county, all schools pick a, 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 a band or whatever you want so to call So barangay is like neighborhood. Yeah. Every neighborhood. Yeah, it's like a county. Yeah. yeah. A county. Okay. There's eight of them. So they all send one to the to the final. So the, well, it's the big kids and the little kids. They all send because the Saturdays the big kids, the Sundays the little kids. And the uniforms are just unbelievable. And the accent, and they, they go up on stage and they're not up on stage for two or three minutes. It's a long, long performance. And they're moving, it's continuous moving. Huh? It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay. It's absolutely something to come and see. I would travel the world to come back to here to see this. Oh. Yeah. And, and just, just the uniforms and how they, how they make them, the ingenious, and the drum, bang, 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 bang. And it's just, it's just something to behold. And uh, they're, 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 they're like professionals, they're like professionals, they're just unbelievable, even the little kids. It's, it's certainly some, something else. And it's a big stadium, we've got a big stadium just in Melbourne. Wow. Yeah. And you can't get in, it's jam packed. And, and they also, they all got prizes for the best band, the best costume, best blah blah blah. And the, the people here are so, are so friendly. It's, it's incredible. Even in the big cities, they're, they're, they're just as friendly as in the country. There's no, no, no difference, in, I, I can't find any difference. And they're quite happy to take you to wherever you want to go or talk to you about where any if you're lost or you want to do something, no problem. But I think a lot of it has got to do with the fact that this is a 90% Catholic country. Now I'm not religious in any way, shape or form. But it's it's everywhere uh, the, the, the Catholicism here. But it's nowhere. It's a strange feeling. Oh. Because it's in all the little wee they've all got the crosses hanging in their yeah. motorcycles. It's everywhere. The, God is great, blah blah blah. Yeah, Some yeah. of the jeeps are painted up, beautiful, but it's it's not in your face. Yeah, you know it's there, but it's it's not there. Yeah. It's a really strange feeling, and I believe. Would they have such a high concentration of Catholicism here? It's like everyone's already converted, so they're just sort of enjoying their fellow man rather than well, trying to convert that, each other. That's that's the thing. They they are they are true true Christians because they embrace everybody. There's no racial discrimination, sexual discrimination, none of that here. There may be laws for, 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 for gays and this sort of, but they're all treated fairly, and they, they, they have they have they have they are gay um, uh, kings and queens. They, they, they do stuff. It's all everything's embraced. So they accept me when I come to this country. They accept you. They accept everybody. Now that's to me that's true Christianity. Yeah. I can't, I can't see it being any other way. Mm. Unlike, uh, you might like, you might not like this, but in America and other countries, these Christians are not Christians. They hate gays, they hate blacks, they hate Hispanics, whatever it is they don't like, yeah. you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's not. Yeah. You come here and everybody's the same. There's no, that's nice. nothing, there's nothing, and, that, and that's the reason why they accept us come to this country. Quite happy to see us. They're not all foreigners, foreigners. No, no, they're not bothered. Yeah. And they don't care if we've got money or not have money. They're just friendly. <laughs> they are very friendly. Quite happy to see. Quite happy to talk to you. Yeah. And I think that's got. I think that's got a, a, a lot, a lot to do with it. And it's the, the religious tolerance that's that makes makes these people what they are. Yeah. And very, very hard working. No. Very hard working. Yeah. I mean, people say, oh, they're lazy, but they're all out there every day. There's no no government to help them. If you don't go out there and make a peso to buy some rice, you, you starve. And these people are all out there working. You see very, very few homeless people. Uh, you don't see that hardly anywhere. Yeah. There's lots of things you don't see here. You don't see people smoking. Oh yeah. Very. If you well, see it's against the smoke, law, isn't it? Well, it's not against the law, but they, 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 all these barangays you see it. It's like smoke-free barangay. Yeah, yeah. Signs up. Yeah, yeah. With all the the, 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 the smoking out Yeah. Yeah, not even. Yeah, you can't smoke it anywhere. Right. And so uh, that, uh, the, the, and it's in schools. All these big signs are in schools. Yeah, yeah. You know, to teach these kids don't smoke. And there's signs up, smoking causes cancer. Yeah, everywhere. big huge signs with people's yeah. feet getting cut off and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. You can take those signs. You should take a picture of those signs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so that that's a big thing. The, also, the other thing you don't see is obviously cigarette ends thrown all over the place. Yeah, you do. But in Britain, I don't know what it's like in America, but we've got. People with chew chewing gum and you throw it in the floor and it just gets trapped in. So it's chewing gum all the yeah, way. Yeah. You don't see chewing gum here yeah. on, the, on, the, on the roads. The same things you don't see. Yeah. 
I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah you're right. And, and dogs, dogs run out. There's loads of never seen so many dogs on the lake. But you don't see any dog poop anywhere. And I, no dogs come after you. No. Like in some parts of the world, they're the dogs are chasing you down the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just look at you, and, and you know, you just, they just keep on going. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's weird. It's weird. Who feeds them is beyond me. There's, there's the, the dogs that are everywhere. They're, they're all over the place. Yeah. So, so there's that. Yeah. When you when you when you're traveling, it's very easy to travel. And there's, there's the ferries. It's all ferries. The flights are not too bad if you book them in advance. You can get decent flights, and you can fly up from Ireland to Ireland. But the, the main travel is ferries. Ferries are everywhere. Yeah. And they're reasonable. They're very reasonable. Yeah. Um, the other thing is um, safety. People worry about safety when you come to farm countries. You worry about safety when you go to England or Scotland or America. I mean, Cam you know, if you want to go to Cambodia or if you want to go to Colombia, yeah, every safety is the number one thing. And I've never felt safer in any country in the world I've been to than the UK. So this is the safest place? I think it's incredibly yeah. safe. And we haven't had any trouble at all. And, and, and it's, it's, there's, a, there's a strange contradiction because all the houses I've got bars on the windows and the gates <laughs> and fences. Not all of them, because the the, 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 uh, the people who live in the bamboo house, um, right? But they're not they're, they're not locked. Not, none of these bamboo homes are locked, and um, yeah, they, 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 the prized possession is their motor, their motor, their motorcycles, their motorbikes, their scooters. Oh yeah, whatever, yeah, right. They fix them up. Right, so. They, they have these, the transportation here, it's all, it's motorbike heaven in the Philippines, especially on this island. This island's fantastic for, for, for people who like to ride motorbikes. Yeah. So they've got all their houses safe and whatnot, but whenever they go somewhere, they leave their motorbike there and they crash them on there and they, they go away. <laughs> you know, their houses are all super, super safe and yet they leave their prized possession at the side of the road with their crash helmet on it, two crash helmets or three crash helmets, I've got their kids, yeah, yeah. and they, they walk away and leave them there all day. And no one still their Yeah, I took a picture yeah. when we came out of Lansonis, that yeah. festival that day, whole racks and racks of motorbikes, crash helmets and all of them, I took a picture. Nobody steals your crash helmet or your, or your thing. We've left stuff around and went back and got it, left stuff in jeeps and stuff like that and had to go chasing somebody, and they're, there. they're there. Yeah, yeah. And if you want anything, you just buy it and you leave it there and you come back and get it later. Yeah. You know? When we go into, into the, the, there's one shop in, sh sh uh, I forget what's the name, but just a soup, look, tiny supermarket. You go in, if you've got any stuff, you just leave it on the counter, and you go in. And you come back out, you pick up your stuff, and you walk away. Right. There's no, there's no, there's no crime here as such. You know, low-level crime. Yeah, Adult. opportunistic crime. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's none of that here because they will not disgrace their family. They do not want to disgrace their family. Family is everything, and the honour their family. They do not want. They would never dream of doing anything like that. You know, <laughs> they, they would never dream of doing anything like that. Now, I'm not saying there's not crime, obviously, but uh, ninety-five percent. And then you're still the time safe and you can leave stuff around. Right. No right. problem. Yeah. 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 So that's that's a that's a that's straight, great. A, lovely, a lovely feeling to, to have. So the last thing is uh, beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that grin. <laughs> and, uh, if for nothing else, you come here for the, the beautiful women that who look after you, you know, and, and do everything for you. There's a there's a good feeling about what, what they want to do for you and help you and and and, and, be, and, and Age, religion, colour, nationality, don't matter. Don't matter. Again, I think that's to do with being proper Christians. Yeah. You know? Again, I, I, I don't want to go on about religion because it's not something that's. I think it's just a, a low level, un basic feeling. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's the culture. Yeah, it's the it's, culture. It's and the also, this family. The family, the family is, is, is massive. Right. Much bigger than you, than you realise. Yeah. And it, it spreads into all these, all these other it's things. It's almost like. Um, years ago, or uh, like it was around most of the world, when before things got crazy. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're untouched. Yeah, in yeah some because ways. in America and Britain, we don't look after our old people. No, but here, here, here they do. Here yeah. they do. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, he, he does have a girlfriend, and Chung Hoi said she's one of the most beautiful women that she's yeah, ever seen. She's so. <laughs> I also think she's. Well, I'm not going to pick a dog, am I? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah.
Yeah. yeah. So you've had some luck with that. So you have a beautiful girl. Well, not just luck with that. Luck, luck with the, she came from this island. This island. Oh. You see, so that was a, a twofer. What is it? I mean, a twofer. It, it could have been any island. It could have been Cebu. It could have been. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, I find the pollution in Cebu was, was when we were there for a few days was a bit much. The pollution. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because there's no Catholic converters and all that kind of stuff here. Right. Right. There. right. There's no, there's no, there's no health and safety here either. Yeah. yeah. As far as as people yeah, we've climbing on these back of these jeeps. And, hey, oh, and another thing, when you're driving in one of these jeeps and they're, they're full, but the guy wants to stop and pick up somebody else, and it's two, say it's two women, right? And there's two young, younger guys inside oh. the jeep. Uh -huh. The two young guys get off the jeep. The two yeah. women get inside the jeep and yeah. they hang on to the back. Yeah. The women aren't allowed to hang on to the back. Oh, that's oh. nice. Yeah. Other thing here, if you're at the bank or anywhere, right, to pay, to wait to pay for something, any line up anywhere, an old person can just walk right to the front. Yeah, they get right to the front, no matter how long the line up is. Respect for the elderly. They go, yeah, they go right to the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So if you're ever experienced that, you're just say, they go, what's going on here? I say, oh no, no, no. Well, people can go right to the front, yeah. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Thomas, it's uh, it's sometimes it's hard to convey what it feels like to be somewhere, and I think that's what you've done here. Is you've kind of given a real good understanding of what it feels like to be on this beautiful island. Yeah, in the Philippines in general. Yeah, I think I think that goes for everywhere. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. I would agree. Yeah. It's been the same for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree about the, the bigger cities are a little hard because of the pollution. Yeah, yeah. But they're just as friendly people. The people are the same. Yeah, people are the same. So, yeah. yeah. So, well, thank you well, so thank much. You. You're welcome. Any final thoughts you want to share about uh, or are you? Not at the moment. I might probably think of something later. Uh, of course, right? <laughs> it's always the same. <laughs> well, you said so much. We, we're very thankful. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. And, and, uh, it was, it was it was great running into you. You gave us some nice tips, and we enjoyed oh, yeah, it. It's amazing well. uh, who you who, who you bump into. Yeah, yeah. along yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. we went along the way. Yeah. Oh, there is one other thing. Yeah. Uh, when people come here, uh, there's always this. Oh, getting married in Filipinos are coming here to to stay, and how can you stay in these countries? And, and visas are a problem, and, and all this kind of stuff. That, 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 these are quite complicated, complicated issues, and that is something when I, when I first get out. You, hit, you go online, you read about all these things, and until you do it, and, and, and everywhere you go in the Philippines, it's different. Even though they're, they're government run agencies, they're different. They seem to have a little oh, yeah. law into themselves. You mean like when you get an extension? Yeah, when you want to get, if you want to go get a visa or, or anything like that to, 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 to stay. Uh, it, it, it's strange, but it's very easy. It's no problem. You shouldn't have to worry about it when you come. Uh, just come, just come to the Philippines, and these people will tell you where to go. You just go down and fill out the form, and, and they'll yeah. help you. It, it's not. Don't don't give it a second thought. Don't give it a second thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what we found too. Yeah, yeah. It's very friendly yeah. there too in the government but, offices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like when we when I go home, sometimes I feel like I'm. A criminal or something, the way I'm treated by the immigration, but here they're treating me like a human being. So. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. the airports and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but when you leave the Philippines, uh, it's harder to leave than it is to come in. Oh, is it? Yeah, because they check your visa, and if you've overstayed, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Yeah, when you're coming in, it's a, it's a, it just seems you just seem to walk in. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they look at your passport and blah blah blah, and then. You're in, but when you leave, they check, they check everything. They take your eye, your fingerprints, everything. But coming in, they did nothing. But when I went home, well, that's good to know because I, I always recommend that people never overstay because sometimes yeah. it'll affect you in other countries. The countries share information about right. people. But you, they, they, they do, they do not look kindly. That's one thing yeah. I did see this about here. You're a guest here. You should act like a guest. Yeah, yeah. yes. And like I said, it's, uh, it's a money-making thing for the Philippine government, but. Uh, uh, that's okay. Tourists. That's okay. Yeah. We're we're tourists. We yeah. We bring money yeah. with us. It's not a lot. It's like it's like a couple of dollars a day if you really work it out. Right. And so yeah. Okay. That's the only thing you need to worry about. If you want to stay longer than thirty days, <coughs> you just go see the immigration boys and fill out the form. Yeah. Take your passport. Yeah. It's a done deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. At all. It's something to worry about when you first come because you've no idea. You hear all these stories and. On, on, on online and yeah. well, how much is it, how would you go, uh, what they like. They're kind of keen a little bit, some offices, on how you're dressed. 
Yeah, I read about that also. But that also is a little bit of a fallacy. As long as you're decent, you can go in shorts and a shirt. Um, but um, uh, women, uh, women can't be dressed too sexy. Yeah. No, I will wear the long pants, a t-shirt, a blouse. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 Well, you always dress. But that's days. that's that's not always the case in every office. Yeah. But, so, but it's just something to look out for. I was told you've got to wear long trousers and all the rest of it. But, yeah. yeah. That's 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 not one hundred percent true. Just be respectful and, and they're, they're quite happy. Oh, well, good. See you. Well, thanks so much, Thomas. You're welcome. You have a beautiful day, and uh, we'll 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 let you know when this posts so you okay. can watch it. And if she needs, she wants to know both your websites. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, we've written retired cheap reports all over the world. Please stop by vagabondbuddha.com. Take a look at the reports we have and see if you would be interested in find, finding out how to live the international lifestyle for less than half of what you probably thought it would cost. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, subscribe, or comment? Any of those would increase our rankings in the search engines, which would help our business greatly. Thanks so much in advance.